Hello everyone, uh, this is Chetan Chauhan and today we have with us uh, Sandeep Modi, the creator and the director of uh, The Night Manager Part 1 and Part 2. Welcome Sandeep. Thank you, thank you Chetanji. Okay. Now I would like to ask first question that why who you have released this series in two parts, not at one go. Yeah, it's a most often asked question award, I think, <laughs> go to this question. <laughs> In fact, over the last uh, three months, ever since Feb 17th, whenever I have gone out and met anyone, sab yahi hai ki, you know, part two kab aega? Part two kab aega? Yeah. This has been the question on everyone's mind and why did you split it? So, it's a long winding answer, but I'll tell you exactly how it happened. So we were, we had, we had filmed the whole show and story together in, mm -hmm. in a single part and the, the show shoot was complete and we were editing it. And when I was looking at all the episodes together, I realized that there is a certain feeling that I have about the show and these characters, mm -hmm. which gave me a feeling that this is best like a saga. Okay. It is a saga of a man who has, a, it's almost from a five-year story of, of the life of Shansen Gupta from 2017 all the way till 2022, 23. Okay. So, how do you, and for me, the fact that if you put anything on OTT, unfortunately, there's a, there's a culture which came with OTT, which was great for some stories, but not great for some stories, the binging culture. Mm -hmm. The fact that people end up watching everything in, say, <laughs> one few go. hours, you know, in one go, then, then there's no difference between a film and a show. Okay. You know, in the, in the times that we've uh, grown up, from the times of Doordarshan, when we used to watch something on television, this would come on every Sunday and we would enjoy yeah, yeah. it. It was uh, a cartoon would come on a particular time in a day. There is a habit and there's a feeling that you lived that story for long. You enjoyed it and you took the emotional experience for longer. Yeah. But now I thought that how is it that, how do you make the audience cherish and enjoy the emotional experience of Shams and Gupta and his journey? Mm -hmm. And somewhere I started toying with the idea that should we do a weekly drop like a lot of one of the one of the biggest yeah. platforms in the world uh does uh does a weekly drop for its most loved shows right right and i was keen to explore that what if we break the pattern there is a pattern which has been made and when you make when the pattern is made because the audience is only given in that way yeah. if i give uh, a child 100 chocolates and tell him to eat one each day. If the child ends up eating all 100 and he falls sick, it's <laughs> my problem. I gave the child 100 chocolates. 100 I should have given him yeah. one a day, you know. So that's where the conversation started and you're exploring different models. And the platform came up with this very interesting idea of saying, instead of doing a weekly drop, let's split the show into two halves. It's like a very Indian Desi thing to do. We are, we are the only Hindi film industry or film industry in the world which has an interval in our films, you know, yes. and it, it is bizarre for anyone from the West to understand why we have an interval. It is bizarre, but it works for us, you know, and if you think from that point of view, a break is absolutely normal. It's exactly the center point of the story. We have That's said, right. take a break. You enjoy right. it. You watch it. If you want to watch it again, you want to talk to your friends about it. Talk to your family about it. Talk about the show. Think of what will happen next. And then you get to watch the whole second half. So, so uh, that was the that was that the was reason. the whole journey. I know it's a long answer, but <laughs> I had to explain and uh, bring in it. To you. Please tell us about uh, the two incidents. That means one bitter incident and one uh, good incident that would have happened while you shoot during this part one and part two. I, I think uh, bitter experiences or incidents are are something which feels bitter at that point. But mm -hmm. now when I look back, you know, like somebody says that uh, if a child has failed in a certain class, at that point it feels bitter. But later in life, you, re life, you realize that that is what was required for the journey. You know, you can't say a journey should only have the ups. The downs are equally important. So for me, uh, if at that exact moment you would have told me, I would have felt something was bad about a particular day. But a month from now, six months from that moment, now it feels like one of the most amazing journeys of uh, direction life. And if you ask me that, would you like to live through even a day which was very bitter again? I will say yes. If the 
overall journey is like this you know uh eventually that's what comes it's it's not that a good journey means that there are no minuses it just means there are more pluses and this has been uh, that kind of a ride for all of us associated with the show and what about the happy over oh, there there's, so there's, there's, there's genuinely <laughs> so many but i'll say that something that comes on top of my mind right now is uh we finished uh editing the show and we were about to release and we had kept a big screening in mumbai two days mm-hmm. prior to release and i was extremely nervous while i was happy and confident but there is a nervousness you you broken the paradigm you put only four episodes out you you've uh, you adapted such a big hit show you know it's like remaking shole as some people said you know how yeah. can you there is there is like you you can never beat that you there's only failure after that as many people told me so i was i was it was such a tough few days i remember one of the sweetest messages i got was from aditya roy kapoor's mother okay she saw the show and she saw the opening two episodes she'd come for the screening and while on the day of the screening there's so much love and anyways genuinely when people have come not to give you critical feedback but just to say well done right in a in a, yes. in a preview yes. and after that day and the next day when you wake up and you see a message like that and she was so warm and she spoke about how much she actually enjoyed uh the show and seeing her son shine in a part which was such a complex part suddenly i felt like i was a teacher of a school uh and and a mother has written to me saying my ward has done well excellent under your uh direction i i felt so i think that was a message that i i really felt very happy about i think that really uh, stood out for me because aditya has has taken quite a few risks in his career with a lot of i would say first or second time directors you know a lot of young directors he's backed and uh, unfortunately sometimes the thing works sometimes the story doesn't work because of some reasons and i always thought that new young directors should get a chance and when a and a story like this becomes successful with i would say a relatively younger director like me then it gives more confidence to more actors studios producers to back more younger directors and new voices that come through absolutely so for me i felt i felt happy that i had carried a responsibility and i could uh, fulfill it for a lot more people like me so how comfortable you were working with a legend like anil kapoor ji and aditya were they uh, suggesting you some uh, scenes or uh, dialogues change in the script or something like that or they were just following your direction so no i think that's not the way i work uh, on on a on a sandeep modi set everyone is welcome with a suggestion the choice to take it if it's good is the only thing which which stays with me but it's not just anil sir adi tilottam or any of the actors sometimes uh, an ad or assistant director or a production person comes up with a great idea like i'll give you an idea the opening scene of episode 1 uh, which was set in the mountains and a bridge and a van mm. plans mm. absolutely was actually the whole uh, location was not, this was not the location my executive producer uh, sohel abbas he he had gone for a holiday and he sent me a picture so that what if what if the opening scene is not done in the location sir that which you are asked us to do but what if we do it here i said it's brilliant i love it can you get me permission for it is okay i'll come back from the holiday and we'll talk so ideas are uh, the job of a director is not just to give the ideas but sometimes is to find the good ideas and to celebrate the good ideas and embrace the good ideas and make an environment where everybody can contribute so for me that was a uh, that is how i would say uh, there were many dialogues i would change the many dialogues uh, anil sir would recommend if it works for the scene you know we we've done it many scenes many locations there's a sequence in uh, the first part uh, i don't want to give any spoilers for the second part so i won't <laughs> i won't say much about it but the first part there's a sequence where uh, shelly dungta is playing golf yes uh, and he's hitting the balls in the scene that scene and the idea of it that let's not do the scene here let's do the scene like this was kapoor saab's recommendation okay it was uh, two days prior to the shoot when he said yeah what are we what are we doing in this space i said no i'm doing a scene like this 
like what if i play golf here i said it's a brilliant idea but if you have to arrange for a golf kit to get you to train for a few golf shots you know because it's a different skill any sport i think it he just went into it for those 48 hours you know he had he has played golf before but he had to brush up the skills and everything so ideas kehte na ideas kisi ke mohtaj nahi hai jiske paas aaye you have to embrace and make it your own and make it for the show so you are also a director and a creator of arya and which is also very very popular series and people have embraced it and loved it the same action the crime action genre is uh, the night manager part 1 and part 2 so this is your genre or you will be focusing uh, to other genre as well in the future you know before both of these i made a absolutely emotional slice of life drama which won the national award for swan and kirkire mm-hmm. called chumbak a marathi yeah and uh, i i'll say it's not a genre in particular that excites but i would say it's the soul of the characters which i am looking for i think i was really attracted to the idea of a woman who loses one of the most precious things to her her husband mm-hmm. and and has to keep her family together uh, and while doing it she has to turn to the bad things she used to hate about her own husband that journey of that character is unique and for the night manager i was extremely attracted to the idea of how does a man who is a regular like like you and me you know doing a regular job like a hotel uh, job what makes him throw that life again and take a risky job and become a spy go into the one of the most dangerous men in the world his life become part of it you know just to expose him what that that journey and that drive really uh, uh, attracts me so i i think i'm i'm only looking for those things you know the genre comes second to me no one last question if sandeep modi agar director ya creator nahi hote to kya hote uh main i by education i am a plastic and polymer engineer okay uh, but i remember when i told uh, mere pita ji ki mujhe film making ki taraf thoda jana hai ye sab chhod chhad ke uh, engineering chhod ke to kafi shock mein to the but kafi pyar se unhone isko samjha और कुछ दिनों के बाद मेरे पास आया नहीं टोल्ड मी दैट यू नो ये बहुत ही हमें तो नहीं पता इस इस बिजनेस के बारे में इस इस काम के बारे में हमारे कोई दूर दूर से भी कोई इस इस इंडस्ट्री में नहीं है तो हमें पता नहीं है पर हमें इतना पता है कि कई लोग बन जाते हैं और कई लोग टूट जाते हैं अगर तू बन गया तो मैं बहुत खुश हूँ पर अगर तू टूट गया तो मुझसे देखा नहीं जाएगा तो मेरे लिए एक चीज करना एक मेरे मेरे दोस्त है उसका लड़का इंश्योरेंस बेचता है और काफी सुखी है लाइफ में क्या तू मेरी तसल्ली के लिए इंश्योरेंस का कोर्स करेगा दो महीने का तो मैंने दो महीने का इंश्योरेंस का कोर्स किया उनको सर्टिफिकेट दिखाया और बोला कि अब आपको सेफ लग रहा है बोला अब सेफ लग रहा है अब तुझे जो करना है कर रियली अप्रिशिएट वॉट माई फादर टोल्ड मी आई अंडरस्टैंड हिज कंसर्न इज लव एंड शायद अगर मैं ये ना होता तो या तो इंजीनियर होता या कहीं आपके पास आया होता है एलआईसी की पॉलिसी भी <laughs> के लिए और की जिंदगी में एक अलग क्या सेफ्टी नेट लेके आया होता यू नेवर नो व्हाट लाइफ वुड हैव बीन आई हैव नो आइडिया इट हैज बीन ग्रेट टॉकिंग टू यू संदीप एंड वी होप एंड प्रे दैट यू गेट अ गुड सक्सेस इन द सेकंड पार्ट आल्सो आल्सो एंड आल्सो इन द फ्यूचर प्रोजेक्ट्स आल्सो थैंक यू थैंक यू जी थैंक यू टेक केयर बाय 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 If you have liked this video then please like share and subscribe to our channel